Philadelphia's Magic Gardens is a nonprofit art environment and museum. It features the mosaic and other artwork of Isaiah Zegar. Spanning half a block on Philadelphia's South Street, the museum includes an immersive outdoor installation and indoor galleries. Zegar created the space using non-traditional materials, such as folk art statues, found objects, bicycle wheels, colorful glass bottles, handmade tiles, and thousands of glittering mirrors. The site contains personal narratives that refer to Zegar's life, family, and community, as well as references from the wider world such as influential artists and art environments. In 1991, Zegar started working on the vacant lots located near his studio at 1020 South Street. He first mosaiced the buildings on either side of the property, then spent years sculpting multi-layer walls out of found objects. In 2002, the Boston-based owner of the lots discovered Zegar's institution and decided to sell the land, calling for the work to be dismantled. Unwilling to witness the destruction of the now-beloved neighborhood art environment, the community rushed to support the artist. After a two-year legal battle, his creation, newly titled Philadelphia's Magic Gardens, became incorporated as a nonprofit organization with the intention of preserving the artwork at the site and throughout the South Street region. Zegar is an award-winning mosaic mural artist whose work can be found on more than 200 public walls throughout Philadelphia and around the world. Born in Philadelphia, raised in Brooklyn, he received his BFA in painting and graphics at the Pratt Institute. When he was 19 years old, he discovered the art environment of Clarence Schmidt in Woodstock, New York. This shaped his ideas. In the mid-60s, Zegar and his wife Julia completed three years of Peace Corps service in Peru. Soon after, the couple settled in Philadelphia and began their lifelong work of creating public art and fostering creativity. Zegar's artwork is heavily influenced by his travels and interactions with international folk artists and other creators of art environments. Isaiah and Julia first connected with folk artists in the 1960s when they worked in Peru. Their love for folk art grew as they purchased works from around the world for the Eyes Gallery, Julia's store at 4th and South Streets. The objects at the Magic Gardens are often pieces that broke and could not be sold. Many are special collaborative commissions between Isaiah and another folk artist. If Isaiah admires the work of an artist, he will leave drawings with them to interpret in their own style. These partnerships sometimes continue for years and result in hundreds of unique pieces.